Welcome to the Plan B CRNA podcast. I'm your host, Bobby Jones, and I'm so excited that you're here. The Plan B CRNA podcast is the only show made specifically for nurse anesthetists who are exploring options outside of their traditional career paths. This is the place to expand your mind and your goals as we uncover new ways to produce side income together. Journey with me as I go down various rabbit holes to explore the best Plan B options for you. This episode is brought to you by On Call Capital. On Call Capital is dedicated to educating CRNAs and other healthcare providers about investing outside of the traditional stock market. On Call Capital also provides opportunities for you, yes, you, to create passive income and generational wealth while also lowering your taxable income through investments in the apartment and alternative investment spaces. If you haven't hit subscribe yet, make sure you do that right now so that you don't miss an episode. Thanks so much for joining me today. And now on with the show. Welcome to the rabbit hole on the Plan B CRNA podcast. Throughout my journey in finding a Plan B, I've gone down numerous rabbit holes to figure out which ones work for me. Since I've done some of this research already, I only think it's right to bring that information to fellow CRNAs to help aid in your search. As always, it's important for you, the listener, to do your own research and form your own opinions. Everyone's situation is unique, and a Plan B that works for one CRNA doesn't always work for another. Self-awareness is the key in any decision you make since you must have an accurate grasp of your own strengths, weaknesses, and goals. So let's get to it. Our rabbit hole for the day is dun, 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 loan signing agents. Now, right now, I'm betting most of you are thinking, huh, what the heck is a loan signing agent? And while this may be true, I'm also guessing that most of you have also participated in at least one home purchase in your life. Do you remember signing all of that paperwork for your home loan? The person who walked you through that giant stack of forms and contracts that you have to sign is called a loan signing agent. And just like having an inspection and appraisal and a real estate agent, loan signing agents are an essential part of any real estate transaction. In fact, you can look at your own paperwork and see where you were charged for a loan signing. I've looked at my old mortgage and refinance documents to discover that the fee was $175 for each, and neither one of them took over 45 minutes. So for roughly an hour appointment, I can make 175 bucks. Show me the dotted line where I can sign up for that side gig. Okay, so well, let's just slow down a little bit. What do you need to get started on this type of plan B? Are there startup costs and ongoing expenses with running this type of business? What are the legal requirements? What does it look like to do this part time? Let's find out as we dig a little deeper. The first thing you need is a notary license. Depending on your state, the costs can vary. In North Carolina, for example, you must register for a state-required seven-hour notary course, which costs about $84, purchase the notary public manual, which costs around $20, and pass the notary public exam with a score of 80% or higher. After that, you must submit your application, resume, and a $50 application fee to the Secretary of State within three months. After receiving your notary oath notification letter, you must take your oath of office at your county's Register of Deeds office, pay a $10 fee, and then buy your notary seal. So we'll just say it costs around $200 total to get your North Carolina notary license. Not a particularly high hurdle to clear. However, not all notaries are created equal. The vast majority of states don't actually even require a test, just an application fee. The second thing that you need is errors and omissions insurance. A policy costs you roughly $100 per year, depending on your state of residence. Mistakes happen sometimes, and this insurance protects you in the case that the wrong papers are signed or omitted with one of your clients. The third thing you need is knowledge of the various loan documents that borrowers will be signing. You can learn this on your own, but you can fast track this through online courses. The National Notary Association offers courses and supplies between $190 to $260. My personal choice for this education is actually the loan signing system presented by Mark Wills. He has been a signing agent for 20 years, and his courses range from $200 to $500. The training he provides is much more in-depth and personalized, with a supportive Facebook community of fellow signing agents there to help. His program also includes scripts to get more signing jobs, as well as direct training from escrow officers, real estate agents, and mortgage officers. The fourth thing that you need is reliable transportation. 
Since you will be driving to clients' homes, you might not want to drive a gas guzzler either. The fifth and final thing you need is a good printer. You will be printing a lot of paperwork, and you need those signing papers to be of high quality. Fortunately, you can find exactly what you need for under $150. So what does this work look like in real life? Well, getting started can take some time. You need to focus on marketing yourself on a lot of those signing service directories that connect you with buyers. Like Uber, these are often on a first-come, first-served basis, so you have to be quick on the trigger. You will also have to bypass some signings due to your own time constraints with your full-time job. Each signing pays between $50 to $200, and they rarely last more than an hour. Once you get more comfortable, you can actually complete simple loan signings in as little as 30 to 40 minutes. And as with many things in life, relationships are a key component. By developing relationships with loan officers, real estate agents, title agents, escrow officers, and others involved in the closing process, you open yourself up to more regular referrals. This may require some sucking up, which most of us can relate to. I, I tended to pay attention to and remember the sales reps who brought the best treats and lunches. If you bring a box of cupcakes into a title office as a thank you for a referral, you will likely be remembered in the future. Serving the needs of the customer is also important. Particularly during the pandemic, signing agents have had to meet folks increasingly outdoors, signing papers on the tailgate of a pickup truck or at a table in the front yard of a home. As nurses, we are used to sometimes bending over backwards for patients, so this is definitely within our wheelhouse. The good stuff. You can make $50 to $200 per appointment as a loan signing agent. Also, since appointments rarely last more than an hour, you can do this part-time in the evenings or days off. This is scalable. You can do this on a PRN basis for a couple of hours a month or go as high as full-time. There are folks out there making ten dollars to $15,000 a month doing this work. It amazes me that you can make nearly CRNA-level money with such little education and training, but it is entirely possible in this field. The startup costs are relatively low compared to many other side hustles. And the educational barriers to entry are low, so long as you can learn quickly and are detail-oriented. So what are the drawbacks? Some states are better than others for loan signing agents. Some states are escrow states and others are attorney or non-escrow states. In escrow states, a neutral third-party loan signing agent is hired for mortgage closings. In attorney states, attorneys handle the loan document signing process in-house. And because of this, notary loan signings aren't as prevalent in attorney states as they are in escrow states. That doesn't mean that they don't happen. It's just that attorneys often control more of the process and take a bigger piece of the pie. So the big escrow states and areas, which are states that are good for loan signing agents, are Arizona, California, Colorado, D.C., Florida, and Texas. As a general rule, most West Coast, Sun Belt, and Midwestern states are escrow states. Unfortunately, most northeastern and southeastern states are actually attorney states. This means that pursuing this as anything more than a PRN or part-time gig is limited in upside earning potential and opportunity. There is a risk of market saturation. Since there are only so many loan signings per month, adding more agents to the market could reduce potential income. However, the industry caters to when customers can meet, so there is plenty of room for more agents to fill needed time slots. The more flexible you can be, the more opportunities you'll likely have. Certainly, some individual markets may be more saturated, so you'll just need to be quick on the trigger and better at relationship building. Like much of residential real estate, many loan signings are available on evenings and weekends. This is nice for a side hustle, but maybe not so great for a full-time job. While there are plenty of daytime signings, those tend to have much more competition. This can also be a last-minute kind of business. You may get a text at 3 o'clock in the afternoon asking about a 6 p.m. signing. This can make planning tough, particularly if you're the kind of person who really values dinner with the family or your weekends off. This is another job. You are actively trading time for money, and you are limited by the number of hours in the day. Chances are you'll get five to six appointments at the absolute most in a single day. While this can amount to around $1,000 per day, this is definitely not passive. So what's the verdict? This is one of the more solid plan Bs out there. Dare I say it to a largely CRNA audience, but loan signing agents are real estate's best kept secret. I mean, you get paid a handsome sum, 
to watch people sign paperwork. Plus, it's not like real estate transactions are slowing down in this low interest rate environment. Barriers to entry are low, but the overall public knowledge of this career option is low too. The income potential is very strong with tons of flexibility built in. This could provide a real backup plan for 1099 CRNAs. If you have the right relationships in place when you happen to fall on hard times, then it could supplement or even replace your CRNA income pretty comfortably. In conclusion, this is a very active plan B that has absolutely nothing to do with healthcare, but could help you understand parts of the real estate business that you haven't actually considered. You can go really far depending on your state of residence, the relationship you build, and how you choose to scale. Make sure you check out the show notes where I've included articles about specific state requirements, links to Mark Will's loan signing system, which I, I don't get any kickback from that, and some other podcasts about the loan signing agent experience. As always, I'd like to thank you for listening to the Plan B CRNA podcast. If you found value today, make sure you hit subscribe so that you don't miss an episode. We also want to hear from you. If you have any questions, comments, or rabbit hole topics that you'd like me to cover in upcoming podcasts, make sure you rate and review on your podcast player. I check those all the time, and I cover those questions in future episodes. If you'd like to connect with me or learn more about On Call Capital, make sure you find me on Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, or visit my website at www.oncallinvestments.com. Until next time, this is Bobby Jones signing off. Thank you so much for joining me for another episode of the Plan B CRNA podcast. If you haven't already subscribed and reviewed the show, I'd be honored if you took the extra time. It really helps to expand our reach and get the word out about the show. If you're a CRNA who is interested in sharing your story on our podcast, I'd love to have you. Please email me at bobby at oncallinvestments.com for more information. This episode was brought to you by On Call Capital. They are dedicated to helping providers like you develop passive income and generational wealth through investments in the apartment and alternative investment spaces. Feel free to check out their website at www.oncallinvestments.com and subscribe to their free educational email series. You can find On Call Capital on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. You can also check out our YouTube page where you'll find all of the show episodes along with other educational videos. Thanks for listening, and we'll see you on the next episode.